In this video, I'm going to discuss about flow networks and how to find out the maximum flow. So stay tuned. Just subscribe my channel for more videos on advanced algorithms. Okay, let's move to the topic first. Let's see what is a flow network. It is a directed graph where things flow or move one place to another. So here things or materials flow from one vertex which is identified as source and to the other vertex which we identified as sink. Source is the place where materials get produced and sink is the place where materials get consumed. For examples of flow networks, we can have liquids flowing through pipes, current through electrical wires, information through communication networks. Here edges connecting things from one vertex to another vertex. So in a flow network, each such edge has a capacity and it may be like amount of amperes for an example. Let's see what are the properties of flow networks. Vertices are conduit junctions. We say so because materials flow without collecting in vertices except source and sink. Also, there is flow conservation at vertices. It means the amount produces at the source equal to the amount which consumes at the sink. The number of materials move from one place to another is called capacity. Here you will see we have 3, 3, 2. These are called capacities. The maximum number of materials that moves through a particular edge is called as flow. For example, from vertex A to B, the capacity is 3. And flow which means the materials move from A to B will also be 3. Here our aim is to find out the maximum flow. For that we have to find out augmenting parts from source to the sink on which we can add the flow. Here we create flow from source to the sink. Source is represented as S here and sink is represented as T. From S to A, the maximum capacity is 3. It's like from S to A, it can carry maximum number of 3 materials. Here we have to check all the possible paths from source to sink or from S to T. For example, we can take S to A, A to B and then B to T. It is a one path from S to T. Then first we should have a table with two sides. One side path and the other side flow. As the first path, I will take S to A, A to B and B to T. In the path of SABT, we have 3, 3 and 2. So, the maximum units that the path SABT can travel is 2. It cannot travel more than 2 units. So, we subtract 2 from each edge. The minimum number of units which a path can travel 
will be the maximum number of flow that path can make. So here I will subtract 2 from 3, remaining will be 1. And here also I will subtract 2 from 3, remaining will be 1. Before the slash, I am writing the remaining capacity with red color. Here I will subtract 2 from 2, remaining will be 0. From which B to T, the remaining is 0. So the path is blocked now. We cannot move further across that path. It means we cannot use this B to TH further. So, the maximum flow for the path SABT will be 2. I think it's clear for you. Only maximum 2 units B to TH can have. More than 2 units B to TH cannot have. So, it will be our maximum flow number for a particular path. Now, let's find out another path from S to T. As the second step, I will take the path S, A, B, D, T. From S to A, then A to B, B to D, D to T. Okay, let's see. From S to A, we have remaining one unit. From A to B, we have remaining one unit. B to D, we have four. And D to T, we have three. So, from S to A, the maximum flow which we can have is 1. From A to B, the maximum flow which can make is 1. So, the maximum flow here becomes 1. Then I am going to subtract 1 from each edge. I will subtract 1 from this remaining 1, then remaining will be 0. Subtract 1 from the remaining 1, then it will remain 0. Then B to D, I will subtract 1, remaining 3. Subtract 1 from 3, remaining will be 2. Here, the maximum flow for the path SA BDT will be 1. As I previously told you, the minimum number that the path contain will be the maximum flow. Now, as the third step, we have to find out another path from source to sink. Now, we cannot use the edges S to A because now it is 0 and it is blocked now. We cannot use A to B. It is 0 and it is blocked now. We cannot use B to A. It is 0 remaining and now the path is blocked. Now as the third step, I am going to select the path S to C, C to D and then D to T. From S to C, from C to D, from D to T. Here C, the minimum value is 2 now. So, the maximum number of unit, the path SC, D, T can travel will be 2. So, I am going to subtract 
2 from 9, remaining will be 7. Subtract 2 from 3, remaining will be 1. And here I will subtract 2 from 2, remaining will be 0. So, the maximum number of flows, the path SCDT can have is 2. Now, we cannot have any other paths more than these three because now B to T H is blocked and D to T also blocked because remaining are zero. Now, let's find out the maximum flow of this network. For that, we have to find out the summation of these three flows. Then 2 plus 1 plus 2 will be 5. Maximum flow of this network is 5. Here let's focus on minimum cut. A min cut is partition in the graph into two disjoint subsets with the source in one part and sink in another. A valid cut completely disconnects the source from the sink, ensuring no paths exist in between them. A cut is a set of edges whose removal divides the network into two halves, X and Y, where S is an element of X and T is an element of Y. And also, the capacity of a cut equals the number of maximum flows. Now let's see how to find the mean cut of this graph. The cut that you make is always going through where we have most number of zeros. So in this graph, we have zeros in here, here, here and also here. But we want to make sure that the addition of the weight of the cartridges need to be equal to 5 or it need to be equal to the maximum number of flows of the graph. Now I will cut our graph from the edges BT and DT. See, here in this edge we have 2. Plus, from the edge DT, we have 3 units. So, it is equal to 5. It means it is equal to maximum number of flow. This is how we find out the mean cut and I am going to wind up the session. For more videos on advanced algorithms, make sure you subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.